Good morning, Good morning and welcome to Florida day three. So we've had a much more chilled back laid. Oh we have, we had a lay in. Yeah. This is what, half nine now. Oh just, yeah it is. Just left the room. I um, actually went to bed a bit earlier last night. When we got back, I had the worst headache ever. I literally felt sick, thought I was gonna be sick. So I went to bed at probably about half nine, quarter to 10, fell asleep and woke up just at bang on seven. So I had a real good sleep. Good. So, so yeah, fit and ready for the tour today. Yep, we are just walking to the main like lobby area at the Poly. We're going to grab some breakfast and some coffees, mm -hmm. and then we've got our wild Africa trek. And I'm just going to stop now because it's going to get really noisy. One second. A worker was just going by with like something on the back of the one of those little um, golf buggies, so I didn't want it to be super noisy. But yeah, so we're just going to grab some breakfast, and then we're heading to Animal Kingdom straight after that to do the wild Africa trek. We don't have to be at the check-in for that uh, till 11:30. And for that, we have to be just outside where the safari like mm. boards. I'm really, really looking forward to do to doing this. Something I've wanted to do for ages, and like because we done keys to the kingdom last year, we've kind of said that each time we go back to Florida, we want to do something different each time, just to like kind of experience something else in the parks. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving our morning walks. So so pretty. And I've been on the phone to the family this morning. They're all packed. They are. They're going to the airport hotel today. They are absolutely buzzing. buzzing. It's my nephew Charlie's birthday today, and he doesn't actually know it. Me and Daniel have kind of not really made a big deal of his birthday. No. And like a couple of weeks ago before the holiday, he was like, everyone's more excited about the holiday rather than my birthday. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're going to go to the shops. We're going to get some banners, balloons, a birthday cake, and put yeah. it all up in the villa for him so that when he walks through, he realizes we do all care about his birthday. <laughs> but I don't um, think we're gonna put it in like the main hall when you walk here. I think we'll put it like hide it somewhere. Kind of like in the kitchen. So he has to like walk through, kind of not really expecting anything. And then yeah, there's a little birthday surprise there for him. And we're yeah. doing a little treasure hunt for Emily. We are. So indeed, we'll show yeah. you that around the villa. We're gonna get a few little bits for her and set it up and she has to find it. Just like a, like a park bag so like so you can have like little bits of bottles for the park you know, lip balm and just girly stuff like, like well that. no yesterday we got her a stitch poncho and a stitch water bottle uh, water like a fan yeah so yeah we got her that and we're gonna like uh, so that's two things she's got already so she's got lounge flies so her lounge flies are gonna be well stocked up for her I think a whole bag one section of her suitcase is just lounge flies <laughs> super quick because of copyright with the music but this is one of the pool areas thought I'd show it while there's no kids running around so we've gone up the stairs obviously that's the lobby that's the main lobby down there and um, upstairs this is where you get the monorail just out of here yeah and we're going just over there for iced coffee so yeah, we're at the Kona Island the coffee bar Uh, so we have our little breakfast set up. It comes to eighteen dollars. So we've got a ham and cheese croissant. Well, bacon in it. No, so it's not ham. It's bacon, egg, and <laughs> cheese croissant. A iced caramel macchiato, and then Daniel also wanted a pastry, cinnamon roll. So not bad. Did I say it cost eighteen dollars? I don't know. You did. Okay, cool. So here is the cinnamon roll. Compare it to the one you had yesterday. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab my what? Mm. Pancakes, nice coffee. There you go. It's an alright coffee. Alright. Yeah, not the best one I've had, not the worst. Is that the one, same coffee you see everybody? Yeah, I keep seeing everyone drink it, so I was like, I need to try it. This is really hard to eat. I would say we're doing some cutlery to cut it, but. Probably would have been easier because it is a bit flaky. BRB. Yeah, so years and years ago, I was in Typhoon Lagoon with my family. I was eating something and I was looking for serviettes. And I said to the guy, I said, Oh, you got any serviettes? And he had no clue 
what I was talking about. And I was like, oh, um, napkins. Oh, napkins. So, what are you guys calling over here? <laughs> Thank you so much. We've got stitch stuff over there. Now I've got to look for a little girl. And for those of you that don't or haven't been on a Disney holiday before, they all of the hotels have, well, the Disney hotels have like a gift shop um, that also has like groceries. You can get some like alcohol, juices, milk. It also has just like some basic snacks. And then you can get like medicine, any like sort of bits that you might need, things for the room if you need food sun cream, like babies nappies, they even sell like strollers. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that for those of you that haven't really been here before because that's one of the questions I always get about like grabbing shopping and stuff. Yeah. I love the outside of this resort. You've got the little wooden bridge. I think it's got like one of the prettiest like lobby entrances oh, whilst you remember i thought i'd quickly do an outfit of the day for you because everybody loves daniel's t-shirts oh, all the time okay. so he's got a mickey mouse uh t-shirt from asos but look at the back of it it's so cool steamboat willer <laughs> and then cool. your shorts are they with ryland uh yes i want to say so let me have a quick look because I, I think they are Yeah, River Island, and then he's River got shorts and Mion clouds today. On clouds. So feeling like very Animal Kingdom in the green. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. So because we've got our Animal Kingdom trek, um, we have to wear sort of like trousers or shorts, um, no dresses or any or skirts or anything. So I've just got a plain black T-shirt from River Island, trousers from New Look, and then much to my disappointment i've got converse on today because i like to wear sandals because my feet feel claustrophobic in closed toe shoes so yeah and then i've just got my sound fly because it goes with this bag this, nice. this outfit not this bag <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if any of you remember if you watched our california vlogs me and daniel kept moaning about how we had to climb on the floor to get into the car because it was well, i say climb like literally sit on the floor basically and now we've got this big old beast Oopsie. Ah. Two, two big tall people need a nice big car. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Welcome to the Kimberly. Yeah, you was going to say Kinani. You was going to say Kinani. I know, I know. Do that <laughs> this is an outtake. <laughs> Delete that. Hell yeah, brother. Welcome to the Kimberly's Journey's YouTube channel. <laughs> you literally were going to say Kinani earlier, weren't nah, you? I wasn't. He actually said to me the other day, so I was talking about, I can't remember what, or how it came about, we were talking about our surname and I think I was saying how somebody at work come up to me and they was like, oh, I much prefer your new surname because I can actually say it and they were like, yeah, yeah, Hamilton is so much easier than Canary and I was like, firstly, it was Canary and secondly, it's not Hamilton, it's Hambleton and Daniel was like, oh yeah, I forgot you've got the same surname as me. I don't know, I just had like a little bit of a, just a mind bag, I, like, oh, I just sometimes forget it, like... And then he said to me last night, sometimes I forget that we're married, so I don't know if that means that he goes out and about and he does things oh, yeah, and forgets that he's married. Obviously, I, you know, <laughs> I know we're married, but... But what? I don't know, sometimes I forget it. <laughs> We're not waiting for the tram to turn up, so we've decided to walk. So we've like got to set a goal now, see if we can beat it. And it's just going up that way. So it's got to go up, turn round, and then come back. And then pick everybody up. So it's going to pick everyone up now and then go round. Do you reckon we can do it? We will see. We'll let you know. There's the tram that's going there now. We done that. And he easy. pulled away. <laughs> didn't even need to speed walk. Well, we speed walk on a good day, don't we? Yeah, we've basically done a light job there. Yeah. Yeah, we're just very fast walkers anyway. Thinks we've both got lengthy legs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're here. And I think we're gonna go and try and do dinosaur. Just like, we still got an hour before we gotta be at that animal 
track, so hopefully dinosaurs not got away. So we was at my favourite park yesterday, and now we're at Kimberly's favourite park. theory that Animal Kingdom is the hottest place on earth. Oh. Second we step through, through here, sweating. And we're doing a little trail around by the castle. I keep calling it a castle. Oh, yeah. I've called it a castle about four times today. We're doing the little trail around by the tree at the moment because we've, we've got about another hour till we have to go to our tour. So we thought rather than rushing around to do rides, we'll just like actually take in the park because it's such a beautiful park. Oh, it's so nice. And right now I'm staring at a big carving of a turtle or a tortoise. Has anybody actually spotted every single animal that's carved into the tree and like the surrounding area? Because I don't know. I can't is remember. That a, is that a kangaroo or like a joey there? Can you see? Oh like yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that's, well, that's, that's, that's a kangaroo. There's a big turtle or tortoise. I actually don't know what the difference is. And then we've got there's some sort of bird there. Some type of bird. And then this thing here, around here, looks like a bit of a kangaroo head. Definitely the shark. Look at the shark. And there's a rhino. The shark. Oh yeah, there's the shark. This on this branch here, there's a shark. There's a rhino. Snake. Is that a squibble? Look at the snake. Oh yeah, squirrel. Two squirrels in fact. Dragonfly. Oh yeah. There. Unicorn. Bald eagle! Not, not a unicorn, a um uh horse. Oh. Where? In the water horse, what do you call them? Seahorse. Sea oh, oh yeah. Water horse. Oh, in the water horse. <laughs> <laughs> the bald eagle. Is that a buffalo there? Yes, that's definitely a buffalo. And through here we have the backside of water. That's nice. Oh, is that a, um, a rhinoceros? Is that a rhino? It is a rhino, isn't it? Rhino. They look like there was one on the other side as well. You got like a, oh, that's a cute little thing. What's that thing? That looks like a deer of some kind. That's a kangaroo. Oh yeah, 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 that's the tail. That's a kangaroo, mate. Another. A bald eagle. Bald eagle. And a, and a in the water horse. In the water horse. Yeah. <laughs> that's that was <laughs> Uh, I, don't know I actually don't know what that is. Looks like some type of rat. <laughs> Part of you. You're a little rat. Scurrying around the place. <laughs> be a Disney duck chilling in the sun. If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? Probably a bald eagle. Why is that? I don't know, I just think that's a cool animal to be. Look how high they fly. And just... Are you any, are they any animals prey? What, bald eagle? No, actually. I don't think they have any prey. I'll never attack it or anything. I'd be a Disney duck. Maybe a uh, condor. Because the, they're the only things that can live in Disney, rent free. This is true. Yeah, they ain't um, got to spend no money. Disney don't really evacuate them, like, no. or kick them out. You're not allowed to feed them, though. We, we can't do uh, was that a we or you? That was a me. Mm. Yeah, I gave him some chickies. Mm. No, what about the one last night you were feeding that pretzel roll? Oh yeah, pretzel roll. You wanted some pretzel roll. This is definitely the prettiest park. Yeah, I'd say so. That's not the prettiest. <laughs> Yesterday. Oh. 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 O
smells like lemongrass. Oh. It does, doesn't it? Oh. It's nice. I can't see the brown one. Hmm? I can't see the brown ones. Oh I'm yeah. So you've gone for just a frozen coke. How come yours come in such a bougie cup as well? I don't know. I mean, I went for the Jack and Coke. Yeah, so Jack and Coke was fourteen dollars, and that one was probably fourteen because of the bloody cup. Yeah. Just a little reminder that these are the patches I use for motion sickness. Um, they're like herbal, they have like a little smell to them. They actually smell really nice um, and they honestly work with, like such a treat. So I'm glad I've got them on today because I imagine we're probably going to try and get on Everest after our tour. But they're the MQ motion patches. I get them from Amazon, they're like six pound a box and honestly they are incredible. And then I'll just show you. I wear them, I don't know if you can see it behind each ear. It does only. It does say on the box to only put them on uh, one ear, but I like to play it safe um, because when I came on Everest last year, I felt so poorly afterwards. Um, but yeah, so I highly recommend them. But we just thought we didn't want to like get in a queue for a ride and risk being late for our tour. So we've literally just got a frozen coke and we're just chilling out of the sun for a minute while we wait for our tour to begin. So we can probably make our way, our way over there in the next like sort of 15 minutes. So I'll probably go to the toilet before we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really, really, really excited for this tour. It looks incredible. It's quite a long one. Obviously, we'll go into more detail about it afterwards. We will vlog like as much as we can around the tour. Don't really know the full ins and outs. We have the GoPro. Just need to see obviously what is and isn't allowed. Um, I know lunch is provided, but yeah, it should be a good one. Just waiting for our tour to start. And if any of you remember, I got this mug last year. Uh -oh. That was a magnet, not the mug. <laughs> and I'm going to buy another one because every day me and Daniel are scared that he's going to drop it and smash it because Daniel loves to smash things at home. I've only done it like once. Every single one of my Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse little glass circle bowls, where are they? Broken. Uh, yeah, Who broke them? They're in the trash. Yeah, so we're going to buy another one of them. And I also think I'm going to get this bag because I keep saying I want like an Animal Kingdom like lounge flight and that's literally perfect. Gear. All the gear. No, no idea. idea. <laughs> Some sort of idea of a harness, that's for sure. We're all ready to go. Oh, yes. And Ooh. they give you a water bottle. You can wow. keep forever. I know, I know. She said to me, yeah, this is yours to keep. And I was like, what, forever, ever? And she was like, forever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Miss lose it. Yeah, no, true. Yours. <laughs> but are you looking forward to it? I'm really excited. I'm, I'm so I'm excited. Hi, Daniel. We. Oui. Daniel. The big big boys. This is Mr. Hans. Hi Hans. He's such a good boy. No lettuce today. Okay. How about a plantain? Let's try plantain next. Let me take that. 
they've been snubbing the lettuce lately. They usually really like it, but lately they've not been big fans. So uh, this is Hans. He's a slightly smaller of these two. Um, so he weighs anywhere from about 3,800 to 4,000 pounds. Um, Henry over there to our left, um, he is the largest hippo that we have here. And fighting over territory. So it's just very, very important to them. Um, some of you got to witness a dung shower over here earlier. Uh, for those of you that didn't, a dung shower is a way that they both mark their territory and relieve themselves. So um, it mechanically, they urinate and defecate at the same time. Oh! <laughs> oh <wow. laughs> Please! All right, if you guys peek in the very back of this mouth, can you see those molars down there? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I can never usually point them out. Um, so that's actually what they do their chewing with. These guys are herbivores, as you can probably tell based on what I'm feeding them. Uh, but did you see those crazy looking fruit they had? So those are their canines and their incisors. Look at the duck. Um, they're really large and oversized like that, not for chewing, as you would probably accept within herbivores. They just come down and they cannot see what they're doing. They just go where they think it is. Um, and do their best. So uh, it's really tricky. We did not have sex, success doing it that way. So we started moving on to other things and experimenting with different veins. They do have veins. He done that on her. Um, so that's not the most reliable way to do it. These are I'd find that. Yeah, you're good. That was cool. That was cool, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I definitely don't think you would have done that a few years ago. No, five years. <laughs> Mr. Poser stopping halfway to take pictures of himself. And there's a crocodile. These are crocs, aren't they? Not gators. They're crocodiles. Yeah. They're uh, crocodiles. They're the largest species of crocodilian found in Africa. Yeah. Are they more aggressive than alligators, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. See that croc? Lovely. Thank you. Off to the passenger side as well. 
are two Elands, our male off to the driver's side, our female in the bushes off to the passenger side, and a bunch of different giraffe hanging out around here. Our Eland friends intertwine their necks together and then smash their ossicones on the tops of their heads into the body of another giraffe. A lot of times it's going to be a dominance display, or it'll be a display to uh, try to attract the ladies as well. This is so cool. Are you enjoying the tour? I'm loving it. It's amazing, isn't so it? So good. What's that animal there? Is that uh Oh that's them um, Is that a buffalo the other thing in the back? No, it's not. Cattle, aren't they? There's some sort of cattle, I think. Oh there's elephants. In the distance. Oh that's a lizard. You wanted to join in on the action. Oh, super zoomed. Super zoomed. Sounds about that. <laughs> so yeah, we've literally just stopped off now um, at a hut and opposite cool. the, where the pelicans are. What is it? Boma. Boma. Um, we're just gonna have like refreshments, drink, uh, refreshments, this drinks, yeah. food, and use the bathroom, and so on. Yeah. So it's a three-hour tour in total. We're about two and a bit hours in. Yeah. So we should be done within the next hour. But yeah, we've absolutely loved it so oh, it's far. Been great. So cool. Oh, it's a lizard again. It's obsessed with these lizards. We'd rather look at the lizard than an elephant. <laughs> so feel free to eat it if you would like to if you're feeling adventurous today. Alright. If you're not feeling adventurous today, you can put it in your hair, but it makes it fly away. Um, Mark, you, you ate it, the whole thing. Alright, so what? Yeah, you can't eat it. Yeah. Okay, that's so exactly what I imagine a flower shape. Alright, thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I was at the end of things. Oh, oh yeah, end of cups of tea, coffee. We have like flatbread with some hummus. And, uh, probably a bit too much on there. Mm. The whole thing. <laughs> it's like a garlic -y. So nice. Oh, I love also, yeah. check our view in the background of heaven. Like, oh, it's right amazing. Black bread and ham. Yeah. I want to eat one of my. So, you also. I'm going to do a little description so I don't know if you got to see it. So, we have some fruit, we have a wrap, we have some prawns or shrimp, mozzarella, prosciutto, and then you have like your olives and hummus, black bread, and then. Something in here. What is that? What is that little something? Something. It looks like sweet, so. Okay. Oh, it's flapjack chocolate. Oh, and then I'm gonna try some of my wraps, which I think she said had cucumber in it. I think that's cucumber. Oh, no. I think it was just that one little piece. Oh, nice loaves. <laughs> Mm. Okay, it has a hint of cucumber without the actual. And then I, oh, really? I run up like this. So you like it? No, I don't love it. Right. Better cheese on there. That's definitely not better. Okay, plus mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. <laughs> You're going to love these. I think I will. Yeah. I don't know. You won't like them. They're extra crunchy. Oh, you'll be having them then. Vehicle. Yeah, cool. Vehicle. Yeah, cool. So, you know I'm not a fan of prawns much. I know you don't like it. And they turn. No, not really. Your dog will break out. And then they turn around no. the other way to see what they do. That's tomatoes in there, you might like. The flavour's nice, but the texture in there. I'll let you have them shrimp. I don't want any more. <clears throat> Tomato. So we have now finished our tour. That was incredible. What incredible tour. Like, honestly, if you like obviously coming to Disney World and you come every year, was, things can get samey samey even if you love something it can still get a bit samey samey so if you want to do different things to mix it up a little bit I'd honestly recommend doing one of the tours 100%. so as we said last year we did keys to the kingdom which was unreal it's so good to see a different like 
outside to Magic Kingdom, yeah. basically. But it's like back, like back, backstage. Yeah. And that was like backstage of like the savannah. You get to go over the walking bridges as you would have seen. Mm -hmm. um, you get also, lunch. Lunch there. That on was the so savannah. nice. Beautiful. Like a, a perfect view. The food was really good as well, other than the fact that there was cucumber in the wrap, but we and moved. It was shrimp. Yeah, so they had two of the things that we don't like. <laughs> the fruit was also fresh though, wasn't it? Like really, really oh, juicy. And yeah. the little granola bar they gave you, oh my God, that was so nice. But they, they, I did ask like if they sold that anywhere on property, it's literally just for the tour. Like that, that, that meal that you get is just for the tour. So you cannot eat it anywhere else. So you have to do the tour. And you it's from the same canoe. chefs who cook for Tusker House, but yeah. they only cook that food for the tours. They don't put it in like Tusker House either. But now we're going to have to try and find our car because we got out this morning and ran to uh, beat the <laughs> tram, <laughs> and we actually didn't remember to take note you of where did we parked. It was by the red post, so we're in yellow at the moment. Well, it's, I know it's dinosaur, I know that much, but I just don't know what row in dinosaur. Oh, we got that bleepy thing on the, on the key. So, uh, yeah, Magic, no, sorry, Animal Kingdom car park is also like the hottest car park in the world. Oh, isn't it, Jack? Oh, it's just so much concrete. But yeah, that tour, so good. They teach oh, you so much about it. the animals. We, I did book this literally 60 days in advance. So as soon as we could book it, I did. You just do that. Um, you either have to do it through a VPN. So you have a VPN on your phone. I use the Tunnel Bear one. And then you just go on the Disney World website. It takes you to the US website, not the UK one. Or you can also ring up to book tours. But I can't even bother to wait on hold. Not that you wait that long. Sometimes it can be really quick. But I just can't bother for that. So I booked it online and it's really easy. And then it just shows you your, your, like your reservation in the app. But yeah, if you do like to do these tours and you're coming at like a busy time, I would recommend definitely booking them like 60 days in advance, just so you, you can be sure that you get the day that you want to do. And I think I chose a good day to do it because it's beautiful oh, weather. Stunning. So I think now we're gonna go back to our resort just because it's got our final night here. Yeah, exactly. So we've got one more night at the Poly. So we're just going to go back there, chill for the afternoon, have a couple of drinks, and then get the monorail over to Epcot because we've got extra magic hours in Epcot tonight. Yeah. So dinner today is just going to be food and wine and booths. Oh, booth. yes. We're going we to get there. said earlier, we don't really do food and wine. <laughs> we just do the food. We do food. <laughs> so for us, it's not the food and wine festival, it's food festival. So yeah, we're going to have that for dinner tonight. So we're heading to the park a little bit earlier before extra magic hours and then we'll just stay behind to do the rides oh yes and i've set an alarm on my phone because for extra magic hours if you want to do guardians you still have to get a virtual queue so i have a alarm set for 5 58 p.m ready to get that at 6 p.m nice oh we found the car love the feature on this where you can literally press so you, the horn goes off it does work for quite a fair distance as well and i also love the fact you can start it from the key because it's running now with the aircon going getting nice and cool so we've decided to try the key lime pie daniel's got a drink i've got a white claw peach one i got those at Publix yesterday and we thought we'd have it next to the balcony with a bit of a view you can't really see it it's very bright in the camera but we can see magic kingdom perfectly Right. What time to be alive? Literally. <laughs> I do one of those TikTok ASMRs that they do. Okay. <laughs> so the nails for it. Nice. Cheers, honey. Cheers, big ears. See, how does that all doing it? That tastes like sparkling water with a touch of peach. Is it nice though? No. No, I like it. Yeah. You can tell it's like sugar free. Good. You taste it. I think you'll like it. Now I'm going oh, to yeah. try the key lime pie. I've heard, I really like key lime pie. I haven't actually had it for a few trips since we've, like, um, the last few trips that we've had over here. And I know that people say, oh well, no, sorry, me and my mum love the one from Bahama Breeze, but I haven't had it for a long time because I haven't been with my mum for a couple of years now. Um, and online everyone says that the one from Publix is supposed to be like the best so we got like one of the little individual servings well I say individual still wham dam a ding dong wham <laughs> dam a ding dong <laughs> what? it's just a funny saying isn't it us Brits come up with some right old sayings don't we okay that was just cream <laughs> do you want a knife fork and knife fork and knife do you want a knife 
I think I've got. I'm gonna go. What? Nice. You got a bit of everything now? Mmm. Yeah? I'm gonna get my fork. That's real good. I don't think you'll like it. Yeah. No. Mm. I want to know what this is. I think you're lying to me. That was white chocolate. We had the whole thing. You didn't want to share it with me. Um, now you're alright, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Mm hmm. That's nice. Also, These Jack Daniel <coughs> drinks are dangerous. I was going to quickly go on and let you all know how much the Wild Africa trek was because I know a lot of people like to, including myself, I like to know. You want to like the costings of things, yeah. don't you? I will admit it was a bit pricey. I'm pretty sure. Did you get a very good lunch? I'm though? almost certain it was about £300 or something. There we go. It, in total, for both of us, it was $466. So I'm pretty sure at the time when I paid, it was around £340. Um, I paid on my Chase card, so I can't remember the exact US, US to UK like conversion. But honestly, I would highly recommend it. I know it's a bit pricier, so it, like, it's definitely something to budget if you're coming here maybe for like a special reason, or you're do it, you want to do something a bit different, maybe for like a birthday, an anniversary celebration, which, by the way, Daniel, we've been together for seven years today. It's the 14th really? of October. So it is. Seven years, well, I say since we've been together, it was the first day that we met. So we met in a bar on a night out, but we had met prior to that, but we couldn't remember when or where. You're just wishing you uh, never met me. Just wishing I didn't go out there that night. <laughs> this She's boy, lying, by the this way. boy on that night, we were all, this is, this is how much of. Um, <laughs> So we left the bar that we'd been in. We was with like a big group of people. Obviously, I didn't really know Daniel at this point. I want to shut that door because I think that's a bit noisy. Yeah. They're just doing a little bit of work on the block next they're, door. They're painting the balconies yeah. and putting up these signs. So um, yeah, so we left the bar that we were in with everybody that we were with, and some girl just came over. Uh, bear in mind, we were mid conversation, linked Daniel's arm, and just walks off of him. Does he stop? No, he just carries off of her. She goes into another bar, but that bar you had to pay to go into. The bar that all the rest of us were going to was free to get into. So Daniel not, didn't go in with that girl. He decided like, to come with us lot to the free bar. I told so you. So actually, why we, if he no. hadn't, if if that girl had gone into a free bar me and daniel wouldn't be sat here right now but because that's, that's because daniel right. doesn't like to pay I, was to talking, I was talking to you in that bar and i wanted to spend the rest of my night with you this girl come out of nowhere took my arm did you stop her then? no i didn't there we go my but point, then as soon as she as soon as she took her arm away from me i turned around and i found you mm -hmm. and i stayed with you seven and years. That, for seven years so far <laughs> And then that one guy in that second bar that nicked, was it near nicked your drink? Didn't he you? said he knew me. He went to me and said, like, oh, I know you. Like me and Daniel stood at the bar and he like inserted himself in between us. He's like, I know you. And I was like, okay, do you? He's like, yeah, I've seen you at the gym before. Well, oh, you don't okay. know me then. You've just seen me at the gym. And then, um, yeah, and then Daniel walked off again. So yeah, it almost wasn't, almost wasn't meant to be. Walk off? We did. You went to the smoking area of everybody else. Well, yeah, because, you know, you were interested in this other guy. So I was like, <laughs> well, anyway. So yeah, um, ever since that night, we ended up, after all of that, we um, just stood outside of this bar and we spoke for the entire night and we pretty much... The rest mm, is history. ...never been apart since. No. So, as we've mentioned a few times, obviously my family are coming out here tomorrow and my mum stayed at a DVC resort in, like, 2020. No, sorry, 2022. And she was obsessed with the Joffrey's coffee that they leave in the Disney hotel rooms. So she said to Daniel, oh, like, can you just ask them and like, get me a couple of bags like before, like, before we go on to the villa? Um, and when Daniel gets given a task, Daniel goes to extremes. Yeah. And so he went to reception yesterday and got some more coffee. Uh -huh. And then he requested this morning because he called them up. And six, we've just... So six bags this morning. 
Four bags yesterday. Four bags yesterday. And then like there's this little thing in the room here that's called Hey Disney and you can speak to it and you can request things through that. So Daniel just again just like, oh look, you can was, request coffee through here. Was, yeah. So he done it again. And now they've just like delivered us so much coffee. Um, and the guy literally looked at Daniel and went... <laughs> and coffee again? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they. Are, I think so they far. think we're obsessed, which we kind of are. It is nice coffee, but um, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. So it's a bit later now. We have just spent a few hours chilling by our, in our room, sorry, on the balcony. We had a couple of drinks and yeah, we just wanted to like actually enjoy being at this resort because we absolutely love our room. We love the view. So we thought we'd make the most of it. Now, um, I've just got us a virtual queue for Guardians. I think I mentioned it earlier briefly, but even if you have the extended evening hours, you still need to get a virtual queue for Guardians. Uh -huh. So yeah, that was really easy. We've got a group that's expected to be called back at about 10 p.m. and extra magic hours starts at nine, so that's all good. Sweet. So we'll try and do, I think I'm gonna try and do all the rides. We'll try and do Frozen, Remy yeah, and Guardians. Yeah, we'll, just give it all, we'll just give it all a go and see where we get. Um, never done extended magic hours before, this is the first time. No, so I think it'd be quite good. Um, it starts at nine, so I don't even think we're gonna bother watching the fireworks, to be honest. Because we can watch them with my family at that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what we're doing now is we're just going to head... We've still got another 18 days, haven't we? Yeah, can you hold that a second? I can. I need to sort my shoe out. I'll pause it. Sorry about that. Something got stuck under my um, like shoe and it was really rubbing my foot. Yeah. But yeah, so we've got so like still got like 18, 19 days. So we're going to watch the fireworks another day. But we're just going to hop on the monorail now and go to Epcot. And going to do food and wine. Um, or just food. Well, no, I definitely want to try. I want to get one of the Grey Goose slushies from France. We should really definitely try some more drinks. That's, that's I think sure. that's what we're going to do. We're going to like try and get... But well, if they sound nice, we're going to try and get a drink at each booth as well. Yeah. Um, one of the first things I want to get is the Fry Flight. Remember oh, last year, we yeah. loved Three that. Different types of chip or fries. And they had that sweet potato one, which was so yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we're going to do that for our dinner today. We've still got some money on the gift card as well. So I think we've got about $100 left on that. Oh, so nice. we're going to use that to That's pay. That's quite a nice little touch, that. that we've... Well, we have given them a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, it's a nice touch. It's like we've... Like it's been what two, three, two days we've been spending on that now, so that's good. Yeah, exactly. We haven't actually touched, but we've spent a little bit of your cash. Yeah. But that's about it. So yeah, it's getting a bit noisy now, so we'll catch you in a bit. Also, Kimberly's called me old on our um, jungle safari. Is it jungle? Not jungle safari. <laughs> Wild Africa. Trek. Wild Africa trek. They gave us these um, glasses, like strings, to keep you to stop your glasses from falling off when you um, when you're on the trail. I like them. Kim saying you're old with them. No, was no, that... it was nothing. I didn't say you look old with them. It was the way you were like, this is How really cool handy, is this. This is just, real just, handy. I can just put them there, put I them on. I didn't say you looked old, I said you act old. Act old then. I like them. I think they're great. The little things. the truffle parmesan this is the barbecue bacon and then this is the sweet potato with sweet potato casserole i tell you what it's different the last time the sweet potato one didn't come with that cream no it did i don't remember it but not as much like that oh, okay that's very nice to remember it what do you reckon yeah mm. right now try the sound try just some of that <laughs> tastes a bit like baileys that's the garlic parmesan Bacon, it's good for me. Mmm. What's your favourite? Mmm. <laughs> I think the middle ones. It's a dance you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the middle ones. Yeah. One of my favourite ones. They're middle ones, which are the barbecue bacon. Yeah. We both said it's weird because last year these were our favourite. These are a little bit too salty this year, but these are delightful. They're still good, but these are my favourite.
had the peanut butter and jelly, jelly. wings. Let's give you a girl, shall we? Oh, it's sticky. They taste exactly how you think they taste. <laughs> well, I don't know how I think they taste. They have had peanut butter and jelly on toast. Yeah, true. That. One chicken wing. went for a blood orange margarita and Daniel got the PMM which is the page of Mr. Morrow Old Fashioned which by the way is 30 dollars. I, I didn't realise. They don't put the prices on the menu in there so you just kind of get stung and Daniel thought he was ordering a drink with page of Mr. Morrow's face on it. Yeah but I don't know where that's gone like that was there. Yeah but they probably just done that for him because it was like in collaboration with him. But if you look online it's got like um, a peanut butter cup on the side of it as well. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's very nice and it also comes with a little stick. And that, um, a straw? No. Oh, what is it? Try it. What is it? Try it, it's a what banana. Is... No, what is it? Banana. That, that, is, that tastes like pure alcohol. Well, it is a pure alcoholic drink, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with my regular drink. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's delightful. Taste a sip of that. Be careful because there's something dripping down it and you're wearing white. That is warm. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bit of me. I like that. It's I'm gonna too be sour. I'm gonna be pissed off with that. <laughs> You're gonna be pissed. Uh, did you not just see your face after a sip of that? Strip? It's sour. <laughs> this is gonna get me really over the edge. We also stopped off at Greece and we got a gyros. Do you want to? You should have seen that they, um, when you order, the lady had to write down no cucumber, so there's no sauce or anything like that, because of Kimberly. So I handed over the receipt to the um, lady who takes you, like makes it and everything, and they were just looking at each other like, Are you for real? Really? <laughs> <laughs> just plain gyros? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> As you know, I will literally eat most things. I just can I don't know, I've said it a few times, I don't know what it is, I just can't stand cucumber. So, yeah, it's my thing, my one thing. This is a bit greasy on the outside. At least they fold it up in an easier to eat way. Well, there's nothing in it, so it should be easy. <laughs> Lettuce, and there's meat. And meat. At least there's oil, so it won't be dry. True. Yeah. That's quite yummy. Yeah, typical, it is nice. Typical drunk English food. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> With this and this, what? Oh, that sounds nice. Florida orange winery sparkling pineapple wine. Nice. So we get in the wine. That, that, and that. Okay, we're getting free then. So we went to the Hawaii booth and we got the Spam and Rice Bowl and the Pulled Pork Slider and the Orange, Florida Orange and Pineapple Sparkling yeah, Wine. So nice, we had a sip of that. So like refreshing, isn't it? Also. What? What have I had to wear? I um, I don't know if it's just, anybody else but when I'm in Florida my hands swell up like a and um, I can't wear my rings they I find them so like my other rings are fine like my thumb rings and that but my actual wedding rings every time even when Daniel proposed to me out here the ring feels so tight but it's not tight because at home it completely falls off remember when I went behind the fridge <laughs> I was talking to Daniel when I talk I talk with my hands and I literally went like this and like it was like in slow motion my ring was just like rolling through the air and nearly went behind our like built-in fridge 
So, yeah, the heat does something to my hands, so Daniel's wearing my rings, and Daniel's waiting to eat, and I'm waffling on. It was just bam. It's really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Give this a try. Nothing's staying on the fork. Mmm. I think we need to buy Spam at home. It's quite cheap, I think. Yeah. And we've never bought it, ever. Mm. Okay, that's my um, next thing I'll try and cook something. I'll do a Spam recipe at home. Nice. I'm going to try a bite of this. I'll just do half and then give you half, because like, that's like a... See, new painting. Oh, it's stuck to the bottom. Mm. I always forget how much I like this. Can you hold your hand up for me? I don't know if it's going to show on the air, yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't know if it shows properly. Look how red his finger's gone from wearing that ring. Daniel, please take them off. I can't take them off, that's the problem. Yeah, I can. The, the engagement mom's ring is um, smaller, so we got it off. Oh, that one was really easy. Did you? You're the one that turned it around, didn't you? Yeah. Because it. <laughs> so if you left it the way I'd put them on, that wouldn't have been as stuck. Can we see your hand now. It's not as red anymore. I love special girl. <laughs> it's such a cool little ride. We're going to see how many rides we can do in Extra Magic Hours. So we're one ride down. Yep. We've got Guardians books. We're just yep. going over to Soarin'. We're going to do Remy's. going to do Frozen. Oh yeah. Let's get it done. Hell Thanks. yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? We just did Soaring again. We did. And what was it you said? <laughs> oh, sorry. I said, I've never been on it when it's so empty. No, to be fair, no. Like, it was we're, only the front they the were only row. using They were only using the B screen, so we were literally in B1, and then the row behind us got used as well, but not even, like, fully. So we've done that, and Guardians has just been called, so we're heading oh, yes. there now, and... What song were you, were you thinking? I would like September. Same. But I would also like Conga, because that's the only one we haven't had. Yeah, So if we get true. that, then we've got a full yeah, house. Come on, Conga. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, and the Spaceship Earth is looking extra pretty right now, so let's flip it around. What did you call it the other day? Space Mountain. <laughs> and then I called the Tree of Life at the castle okay. twice today. Yep. Just not with it. It's because I haven't been here for so long. I'm forgetting everything. You're like, you need to take me here more often. A year? It's only been a year. It's 365 days too long. Also, how nice is it that we can walk through to the oh, other side awesome. instead of round? It's the first time, I know we, we have said it previously, but it's so nice to have the boards here. Although we did also say, I can't wait to just come to Epcot and there not be some type of work going on, because obviously right now Test Track is closed. So like ever since we've been coming to Florida together, since 2019, always there's always work. something going on in Epcot. So I said, I just they, want it to be completed. So I said, what they need to do with Test Track is finish the outside, open it all up, it was to keep the doors in that closed, and then just work on the inside so we don't have to see anything. <laughs> Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. 
Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. Okay. today's vlog here um, we've just got back to our hotel was we, it like half 11 uh, no it's just gone 11 okay. so we got off of guardians and we had literally had like 10 minutes to get out of epcot so there was like no point trying to do like remy's or frozen no nope. but we got disco inferno we did disco inferno we think burn, we've had that before baby, <laughs> we did want conga though because we, we haven't did, had yeah. that yet but i'm sure fine. we'll get it this trip Fingers crossed. But yeah, so uh, we've had a really lovely day. And Amazing day. We are literally exhausted, that so good. we're going to leave it there. And a quick we shower and then... Bedtime. <laughs> so yeah, we will catch you in next week's vlog. Um, please don't forget and to like, we, comment, we'll subscribe. Next week's vlog, we are checking into the villa. Oh yeah, so you will see us at the villa and you'll also see us plus 12. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a different vibe, but we're so looking forward to everyone to get here. It'll be really good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's why we've taken a bit slower pace the last few days. Just a bit of relax, yeah. a bit of time to ourselves. No just rushing around parks or anything. Like We haven't even Disney. done too many rides or anything either because I, I really want to experience it with my niece Emily because I know she's so excited. So oh, yeah, we kind of want to do like a lot of the rides with her for the first time. So yeah, so that is that. We will end it there. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It honestly means so much and it really, really does help the channel out. And it just means that it makes it easier for us to be able to do more because oh, the yeah, channel grows. 100%. So We enjoy doing it. Yep. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And we'll see you next week. See you later. Bye.